Hello good guys, welcome to my channel. If you are new to my channel, I am Kundan Kumar. Today we are going to explore variable in Java, the building blocks of every program. So if you have not yet subscribed my channel, please I kindly request you to subscribe my channel and motivate me because so far I have just 1330 subscribers. I need your support, I need your encouragement and encouragement comes when you subscribe comments put your comments on my video some suggestions that can help me to improve the videos so what we are going to cover in this video we are going to see what is the variable types of variables and we all we see this hands-on skill with the different types of variables so what is the variable we can say a variable is like a container in java that holds data it act as a placeholder for values in your program. Understand with these pictures. As I told you, a variable is like a container. This is a container. This is a variable is like a container. So this is a container which has a labeled. This label box can be any name here. Written, box will be labeled. This box must have some value. We are going to put some data inside the box. Uh, this value is sum of the type. Uh, this type depends on the uh, data type that you have learned in the previous video. If you have not, you don't know what is the data type in Java, please click on this I icons on the top right corner and reach to the what is the data type. I have prepared a one video. So now look at this. So also this is a technical answer that since it is a container, variable is nothing but also reserve memory location to store a value because that container will occupy some space, some variance in memory. So that store the value. The value of variable may change at the runtime for sure. That's name is variable. This means that when you create a variable, you reserve some space in memory of your computer, nothing but in RAM, RAM, RAM. So how to create a variables? There is a general syntax that you need to follow to create a variable in Java. You can see here, we have to start with the data type. If you don't know the data types, please watch my video. You can find the link in the I icon button on the top right corner. Please click over there and go to read what is the data type. Then come back to this video. Here now, followed by variables name, assignment operator and value. So let me take you to the a practical part. I am here, I can create one class called the variable demo okay allow me to keep this space like this guys i am using the intellij idea ide i am using intellij idea ide you can feel free to use any kind of id program will be same you can use the vs code you can use the netbeans you can use the eclipse but i am using the intellij idea okay so let me write here public static void main. This is a signature of the main method which cannot be changed. If you change, it will give an error. So we need to use the same. So now I'm going to creating a variable. Creating a variable. So simple, you know, let me write the creating a variable. So spelling mistake variable so i'm creating a variable syntax was data type so i can choose any data type let me use the integer now i'm going to talk a variable's name i can say num num number sound like a number or let me write number variable name equal to i can say something like a 40 uh, 56 so you can see here this is a data type any choice of your data type based on the problem you are solving and then this is a number is the name of the variables assignment operator 56 so this is a way to create a, a variable. So let me print to see the system dot out dot println. I can say here number equal to this is a statement that I want to print plus and then then variables number. Look at this. This is a capital N. So this number is not like the same as this one. This is just a statement I want to print and equal to. So this is a variables I'm printing. Let me take it out here and click here and but play button. When you can right click here, you can say run this variable demo dot main. 
you can you can click here so whichever field let me use the current file means current file this is the one i'm using play button you can see number equal to 56 so we have seen this is a way to create if you want to create something like a boolean you can say boolean is married example you can say false and then you can print the value if you want to print let me copy paste save it and i'm writing is married let me use that variables is is married let me run it here you can see it's coming here false now look at this here they're saying the you know the value of variable can be changed at the runtime so here i want to say runtime in the sense i'm creating a variable here integer num i have already declared we can say declaring or creating a variables okay declaring or creating variables now here i'm reassigning another value to the integer variables so reassigning okay reassigning okay reassign what is the problem here word meaning okay guys leave it this is uh, the grammatical mistake so i can write here number here check it out i'm not creating variable i'm using see number equal to i can say here 34 so what will happen when i print here number copy so what will happen at this line i am creating a variables declaring a variable and assigning as well here is a 56 so when i run this application this value will be 56 but look at this number again i am not creating check it out data type is not there i am using number i am reassigning different values so after this time at this after this line the value of number will become 34 so value of variable can be changed at the run time so let us click here run here check it out here is a 56 but here is a 34 here currently i am writing the initializing the value of variable in the com code itself but in the coming video when i will teach you the input output stream i can teach you how to pass the in run you know value at the runtime means from the user say please enter your numbers for at per now just try to understand that we can change the value of variable any times so you can see here was 56 in the same program here we change it like that we can do for this one as well so let's go and see the next one types of variables in java the java variable has been changed in the three types we can say local variables instance variable and class variables what is local variables look at these bullets local variable written within a method any method that you have in java or any blocks scope within a method if you create a variable which is within a method or within any blocks the scope of that variable will be within that specific method in that block scope means visibility in program who can access that variables that you are talking about so local variable with the, will be accessed within a method within a block that you have created you know a scope of that variables instance variable instance variable is created within a class but outside any method including method main method so it will be inside the class but outside the main method outside the any method or any block a scope of this instance variable is within a class whole class a scope is visibility the class member can access you know the instance of that class can be access those variables each object nothing but instance of that class can have their own value of instance variable so in this video i will be not showing you practically to each as e, how the each object can have their own value because that is the limit of this video because this one to make you understand i need to teach you what is the class what is the object so when i finish my video is uh, of class and object thereafter i will re-explain in one some of the video about this third bullets okay guys so don't worry about that so let us go to the class variable within a class but outside the method we use the static keyword to create a class variables and all object of the class access the same value it means there is only one copy of the whole class it is instance variable which is a each instance can have their own value but class variable means each object of the class or each instance of that specific class can have the same value so only one copy of the whole class so let's see how to create these variables 
So I am going to my this video. You can say allow me to delete this one. I am just deleting this one. Okay. Now I can say variables which is declare inside we can say this is local variables. How? Because local variable is created within a method. Main is a method, one of the method. So if I write here integer x equal to 23, this is a local variable means it is a local to main function, excuse me, local to main function. That is a definition. When we go here ahead and we can say here local variable within a method, okay, within a method. Now what is the next instance variable within a class but outside the method? So I am going to here outside the method. So see I am outside the method. Here is a instance variable. I am writing here integer y equal to 45. Any variable I can take it. So this is instance variable. Why? Because this is outside any method. This main is a starting main method to start from here and close here. So this is outside the main method or any method, not only main method, any method in the Java. But within a class, within a class without a static keyword, without a static keyword. So this is a instance variable. That is a meaning within a class but outside the method, a scope within a class, each object, blah, 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 that I will talk, this will discuss in the upcoming videos. Now let us create here class variable. If I write here class variable, if I write here integer z equal to 59, this is a not a class variable, it is a still instance variable. What they say? Class variable use a static keyword. So we are going to use static keyword, static keyword, but it should be also outside the method, not only main method, currently we have a main method only. So any method or block, okay. And but it should be within a class. You can see class starts here. It is inside. Okay, it is inside the class. So this is the location of the your stance variable, class variable, and local variable. A scope of this local variable within a this starting from here and ending here itself. You try to access outside this one, outside this one. This because main method ending here. You cannot access. A scope of this instance variable is to all the instance means all object of this class that you have created which will understand better in the upcoming videos. Class variable is a, a scope of the whole class okay and all the instance of this class means you have this is a class you can create many many object in the upcoming videos. So all the object maintain the same value access the same copy of the you know uh, we can say value of the class. So you have a quiz here right now. So quiz is, you can see here, what will be the output of this code. You can see, you type this code, you can see I have written a static integer x equal to 10. Inside the main method, I have written integer x equal to 20. Again, I start the block, opening and closing. This is just a block. And I write integer x equal to 30. So look at this code and type and try to identify out of four options, A, B, C, D. Which option is the best choice for these questions? Do you get 30? For this output, you get 20 or you get compile error, means you have errors before running and uh, or you get 10. Please test your skills. Don't try to and put your logical answer in my comment below. I am waiting for your comment guys. Your comment is very important for me to understand. Really, you are watching this video and understanding. Thank you so much. Please, if you have not subscribed my channel, you do subscribe my channels, like and comments, share the video. May God bless you. See you in the next video of typecasting data type.